Welcome back. Camping season, summer's here, and who better to help us out than Paul Tarsitano. He is the outdoor expert and paramedic to tell us how to zap those bugs and make them bug off this camping season, right? Absolutely. And um, with the warmer weather, you're going to have a lot of bugs coming out, especially mosquitoes, uh, black flies, things like that. Uh, the number one thing is you want to um, look at prevention, how to avoid getting bitten and stung. And you know what? It's not just camping. It's cottages. It's, it's people's homes. If they're in uh, heavily wooded areas or have a lot of greenery, mm -hmm. you get the, this is mosquito season. Oh, absolutely. Uh, number one thing for biting insects would be clothing. They're attracted to dark colored clothing, uh, as well as um, for stinging insects, hornets, bees, wasps. They're attracted to bright colored clothing. So anything that's like whites or bright pinks even? Yeah, absolutely. So what should we be wearing? You know, uh, neutral colors like I have on. And if you're going camping, something uh, thicker than just thin cotton would be great. And you have mosquito netting as well. Now for the biting insects, for example, mosquitoes, black flies, and things like that, you want to use some form of insect repellent mm -hmm. with 7 to 24 percent D. But be aware that insect repellents does not keep stinging insects away, such as a hornet, a wasp, or a bee. Okay, so what do we do to keep those things at bay? So, you know, if you see one, stay still. It's, aware, it's basically awareness prevention. And if you take a look at these, these are a hornet's nests Ooh. and whatnot, you want to keep your distance. If you turn it around, actually, you could see it flipped under here. Can I show you? Yeah, side? sure. Johnny, I don't know if you can get that. You can see it right in there. Do you see it? <laughs> So that is the thing that people need to remember because first instinct is always to swat it away and then you aggravate it, right? Absolutely. They only attack when they feel threatened or protecting their nest. And if you do get stung? If you get stung by a bee or a hornet, you want to make sure, first of all, that the stinger is not embedded. You want to get a card, scrape it off, or use tweezers if the stinger is there. Mm -hmm. Wash it with soap and water, prevent infection. Use a cold compressant and then a topical antihistamine such as the Benadryl Itch Relief Stick. Okay, and if you are allergic, clearly you need your EpiPen. If yeah. you are allergic, carry yeah. at least two EpiPens if you have a severe allergy. A lot of people don't realize that insect bites and stings is actually a minor form of an allergic reaction. Really? Yeah, that's why this product is great because it blocks the histamine release. Right away. Yeah. How did you bring these in? What do those do? You lose everything. You're in the wilderness. With these help, these are cedar leaves, cedar and leaves. this helps prevent black flies from landing on you. So you place these all around, as well as mud. But so you put these like you just did, right? What do you mean? Where do you put okay. them? Okay, black flies need a runway to land. Mosquitoes can penetrate these. So what I would do is a combination of mud, cover all my exposed skin with mud. Then I would place these all around my neck and underneath my head, because at least I would give you some protection. Then you get a smoky fire going. A smoky fire, yeah, yes. I mean, if you lie... Oh my goodness, Paul. <laughs> exactly. But it's better than being eaten alive. If you have no gear, you're going to have to resort to these type of techniques. What you just described is the very reason why I detest camping. Mud, leaves <laughs> all over right. your face. How do you manage? How do you get around? Are you saying for sleeping you do that? Or? No, that's if you have no gear. This is the last resort. I would cover my whole body with it. Now... Say you forgot your first aid kit, your Benadryl Itch Relief Stick. Yeah. There's one product, actually not a product, I call this Canva's Aloe Vera that you can apply on a sting, on a bite. Mm -hmm. And this is found all over um, Ontario. And this is great because you make a mush out of it and you can apply it on your uh, skin to help relieve some of the issue. Now this is obviously, you know, the last resort. We really don't want to pick these. Right, uh, in case uh, you know you forget all your gear, but that's really you can feel how much moisture is. Yeah, in it? it is. Yeah. Very moist. So we call it as jewel weed or touch me not. Or jewel weed or touch me not. Touch me not. Canada's ever as aloe vera actually. Okay, with a name like touch me not, you think you'd have to stay away like poison ivy, but I guess it's got the healing ingredients inside. Exactly, it's touch me not because when you touch the flower, it closes. Ah, that's good right. to know. And what did you bring here? Okay. For the fire, in regards to the smoky fire, if you put this fungus off the birch tree in the fire, it actually helps repel bugs as well. So you put the fungus in there. That's Absolutely. a great idea. And that really has a nauseating type of uh, effect on insects. Okay, and, but not us. We, no. we don't, yeah. yeah. Now this is something we have to steer clear from, right? This is basically the same, one of the same. This came from the same nest. Okay. So just to show you that paper wasps build different types of nests and you can see the different shapes okay. so this is one of the same and you brought this along to show that uh, this is a, right after the sting after you've removed the stinger washed it with soap and water you want a cold compressant 
for no more than 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And that will reduce the swelling and afterwards you apply a topical antihistamine. What happens if you're in the thick of the woods though and you don't have access to the maybe clean water soap or the cool compressor? Any lake water, if you don't have anything, I would clean it with lake water and then use mud. Yeah. And if you have a plastic bag, I would put the mud in the plastic bag because the mud itself from the ground is generally pretty cool mm -hmm. in temperature, mm -hmm. and that'll help to also reduce swelling. Great advice. So when it comes to enjoying beverages, you say beware of those uh, open pop cans. They love the sugar, exactly. and you may swallow. Exactly. Just like if, um, you know, before you drink, I have your cup, yeah. can or pop. Steam insects are attracted to sweetness, looking for sugar. Uh -huh. So you want to look uh, before you uh, drink. You Absolutely. Great advice, Paul. Thank you so much. Outdoor expert and paramedic. Go to save a life. CA, is it dot CA dot com? Actually, it's save a life CA dot com. Save a life CA dot com. And you can find the new Benadryl Itch Relief in retail stores everywhere, which is a lifesaver, too. Thank you so much for the wonderful Thank tips. Thank you very much. Enjoy the summer. Thank you. Over to Tracy in the newsroom. Thank you, Dina. You know she still won't be doing any camping. Here's what's going on in news this morning. Toronto Police not ruling out more arrests following yesterday's raid targeting the Driftwood Crips. As many as 80 people have already been arrested and police seized dozens of guns and more than a million dollars worth of drugs. Hamas has overrun security headquarters of its rival Fatah. The move is seen as a major step forward in Hamas's attempts to take over the Gaza Strip. The mission of Space Shuttle Atlantis may be extended again. Russian computers that control the International Space Station's positioning aren't working. And in sports, uh, the Spurs can take the NBA final with a win tonight in Cleveland.